Hi everyone, Moiti here. Today I have a video on how to apply foundation for those of us that have mature skin. Now this is my first video where I am showing my face without makeup, so don't be scared. I hope this video helps someone out there that is like me. I didn't start really applying makeup until my late 30s, almost my 40s, and uh, I actually did used to use makeup, but I just didn't know how to apply it properly. And then um, when my daughter was a teenager, she started telling me, well, mom, you should watch some videos. So then that's how I started learning. But there were not a lot of women out there showing you how to apply foundation for mature skin because most of them are young. So I'm going to show you what I have learned both through YouTube and other resources and hopefully this helps someone out there. If you can see, um, I don't have anything on my face. You have my moisturizer on and that is all that I have on my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we are going to do. Normally I would tell you that the best foundation to use on mature skin would be something that is a little bit more on the dewy side and not something that is matte because matte foundations tend to accentuate your fine lines and wrinkles so it's best to stick to something that is somewhere in between or that is uh, more on the dewy side. I do like my Estee Lauder double wear foundation and that is my favorite one and the reason why I really like that one is because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my skin and um, so I do need heavy coverage but I don't want to look like I'm caked on and I also uh, don't want my wrinkles to be accentuated. I learned a few tips and tricks and I will show you how I do that. First, I get started by using this e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. I love this primer. It works decently. It's not the best one, but what I like about it, it actually looks a little bit uh, golden. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks like this, so it has a little bit of gold undertone to it. I really like it because of that. So it kind of brings whatever you put on top, it kind of makes it glow. So since I do like my double wear, um, this helps me so I don't look so matte. So that is what I'm going to go ahead and get started with. So first I'm going to apply the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. And I just put it on with my hands like this. And um, one technique that I have learned is to apply it in both directions. So you apply it this way and then you go the other way. Um, because that way you fill in your pores better than if you just go like this, for instance. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over my face. So I went ahead and applied all of the face primer and I made sure to get it also underneath my eyes and on my eyelids. I really like to just set a perfect even base all over so that no areas look different than others. I also like to put it down my neck because you do want to match your face to your neck and also since this one is a little bit illuminating it kind of looks really nice on the neck so I like to put it all the way down. Next thing I like to do is I take my double wear and I apply it with one of these Real Techniques brushes. You could also use a beauty blender. I really do like to use that but I find it that when I use my beauty blender it gives me a thicker coverage than it does when I use something like this so whenever I want something a little bit more youthful I go ahead and I use my brush versus my beauty blender and here is my double wear I am in between two colors I am in between the color tawny and dawn so what I have to do usually is I have to combine them so I just apply it on my skin like this. I put dots here and there. Now don't forget to put some down your neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. And the same with the, with the foundation, when you apply it, it's best to go both directions so that the foundation goes evenly on your skin and, um, and it covers a little bit better versus when you just go in one direction, it kind of doesn't cover as well. And it also makes your pores kind of shrink a little bit when you do that. Okay, so I went ahead and I applied the foundation all over my skin. You can put as much or as little as you like, depending on the coverage that you need. But it's always best to try to put less 
versus more because the more you cake on the more your fine lines and wrinkles will be accentuated so it's the least amount that you could use is the best way to go and then the next thing to do is you always have to set your foundation and what I like to do in this case I like to use this really nice uh, powder that is called airspun loose face powder. It's really inexpensive. It's like six seven dollars at Walmart This is one of my favorites because it isn't matte It kind of gives you a little bit of a glow Which is what I am going for and if you could see I don't look too matte and um, I want to keep it that way. I don't want to stay too matte. Of course I don't want to be like a grease ball, but this helps you come to a really nice finish comes with its own little um, applicator right here but I really don't use that what I like to use is one of my real techniques face powder brushes so I tap it on first and wherever I put foundation is where I like to also put powder so if you put foundation over your eyelids, also put the powder there. I like to put a little powder down here, a little bit lower than the neck, just to kind of even things out a little bit. First I tapped it on and then I start to kind of like sweep it on all over to make sure that I cover all the pores and it kind of makes your skin look like your pores are a little bit smaller when you do that. So you go in one direction and then the other. Okay, so that's the way it looks. I am going to come back and do another video which will complete my entire look that I'm going for. But I just wanted to pop in here really quick and show you the foundation routine separately in case somebody is out there looking for how to apply foundation on mature skin. So this is the way it comes out and I will do a little bit of a close up here. Hopefully my camera zooms in and don't be scared. Okay guys, that was my video for today and I hope it helps someone out there that is in my shoes how I was. I didn't know how to apply foundation properly. I didn't really know how to put on foundation for mature skin because I really never learned how. So hopefully this helps someone out there. Okay guys, have a beautiful day. I will see you in a little bit. Bye.